everybody socal marine another quick and dirty video a lot of people have uh, asked me how to wire in bilge pumps i'm going to walk you through this very quickly i'm doing this on an outboard that has never had a bilge pump installed and very limited access to the battery and switches and stuff um, so firstly there's two kinds of bilge pumps one of them is a two wire non-automatic which means that this only works when you see water in your boat and you flip the switch the one wire goes to any ground source, which is the negative terminal on a battery or on the engine block. And the red wire will go, you see they put a sticker on there, goes to a 12 volt positive source, which would be the positive side of a battery. Now obviously this would go through a switch. But if I connected these to a battery now, the pump would go on. But this is non-automatic. Now what people do is they install these little flapper switches that kind of if it detects water the switch lifts up and then it will basically activate this um, it, it's a little messy and there's wires everywhere um, I much more prefer these these are the three wire type it's an all-in-one unit um, and it has an integrated float inside so it'll automatically go on if it, if it detects water without uh, user input required just get this back in the box all right so really quickly how do you wire this up okay well in this case black is always going to go to a ground source and one of these two wires is either going to be a manual override switch which means it's going to work like this one and then another one of these wires is going to permanently be connected to a fused 12 volt as well um, so let me demonstrate on a battery here how this works have one charging down here okay so just give me one second I'm gonna put the black on the negative yeah. okay so now I'm gonna demonstrate how this works okay I'm not sure which one is which here let's find out okay so the one with a little tag with a blue I mean with a red um, plus sign this is gonna go to a switch on the dash of your boat with a bilge so you can flip the switch up and it'll have a 12 volt coming in 12 volt going out I'll cover that briefly this white and whatever color this is burgundy this is the automatic 12 volt so you would connect that to a 12 volt as well but this is only going to work when water comes up and triggers the float inside now there's a little button on the side here that you can test with it see that little round button when I flip it up it's going to go on and the moment it's pumped the water out, the float drops back down and it automatically shuts the unit off again. So it's very cool. I've used these for lots of uses outside um, boats. But this is very cool if you leave your boat unattended and you have rain or you might have a leak. Just get a nice big battery bank or shore power and leave one or two of these on there. And if anything goes wrong, a rainstorm or a leak, uh, it'll automatically switch on. So if you had to wire one of this up into your boat where you previously just had the two wire kind, how would you do it? All right, well, you'd connect the black to the same ground that you previously had. And you'd connect the wire that was originally going to the switch at the front which would have had two wires, a 112 coming in and a 12 going out on the switch, connected straight to this one. So when you press the button, it just goes on. And when you kill the button, it just goes off. This one would be the new wire. And this guy, you just put a little 12 volt fuse on here and you would connect it just to your battery positive, any one. And it would just sit there. It's not gonna use any electricity. The moment it finds water, it's gonna flip on and flip off. All right, so that's the that's the basics of an all-in-one bilge pump. All right, so for those of you with outboards, um, let me just see here. A little crowded on the back here, um, but what you would do is, um, in this case, I'm actually going straight to the outboard because uh, there's just to run it all the way from the bilge all the way up front to the battery. Um, you know with all those wires it's just quicker for me to come in here so I'm going to tap into the power that's already running this little two-stroke um, now one thing you need to make sure of is you want to crank the motor all the way that way so that you have enough wires that go in here so that if you 
if you made the wires tight when this was all the way here and you go and turn to your right you know you might just rip on the wire so just give yourself some extra room tape it up as you can see here um, I have a nice waterproof 12 volt fuse and I've cut this very short okay so that if there ever had to be anything going wrong here you want the fuse as close to the 12 volt power source as possible you know you could have put it down here but if, if it starts wiggling and shorting out here you might have a problem so just cut it off real short um, screw it on there and this is the 12 volt power source that's going to run the automatic and the switch up front so it's kind of easy but some people seem to think it's complicated it's very easy to wire these in and just before I go uh, this is a three quarter inch outlet um, very common this is a one inch a bit bigger and just buy what you have because if you go and buy the wrong pump and you had a three quarter and you've got the three quarter bulge hose which looks like this you know you're gonna have to replace the bulge hose if it's going out of a fitting you've got to replace the fitting so if you are replacing a bulge pump just make sure you get the same size uh, to match and honestly a 750 pumps so much water I mean it's plenty I, I would say this is sufficient for 30 foot boats even bigger uh, you know you always want two of these if you're really worried as a backup just in case one fails uh, so you know that's just some quick tips thanks for watching guys